again. A warm good evening to fellow Toastmasters of District 120. It's yet another wonderful session we are in uh, with respect to the TLA event. Today, it's going to be uh, unique and it's going to be a very different kind of thing where uh, the role of the XCOM, especially the Vice President of Education, goes in making the member experience great in every single meeting. If your meeting is monotonous, the same thing you're doing for every week, the members who are very senior, they may find it that I don't have any learning in today's meeting. To make it more interactive, to make it even more uh, better experience, today we have a very unique session of its kind where the session itself, it's very creative. And uh, we have a uh, Toastmaster, a trainer who joined us today to enlighten us by sharing uh, her experience and uh, she has done a lot of research a lot of case study interacted with many people to come up with the ideas just uh, to introduce today's uh, trainer a distinguished toastmaster vijay lakshmi is a passionate speaker who has joined toastmasters fraternity in the year 2011 which means she has more than a decade of experience in toastmasters she is a charter member, a charter XCOM member in community and corporate clubs and has played various club officer roles like SAA, Secretary, VPE, President, dual member of Meraki and Chennai Communicators Club, President Distinguished Area Director, winner of District Evaluation Contest 2021, recipient of Pathways Champion Award and Speaker Citation Awards. She earned the Distinguished Toastmaster Award in Traditional Path in 2017 and later in 2021, became a Distinguished Toastmaster in Pathways. Without any further ado, I'd like to call our trainer for today's session, Distinguished Toastmaster Vijay Lakshmi. Over to you. Thank you so much, TLI Chair Abdul Hadi, for this wonderful, meticulously planned meeting and the introduction. Good evening, everyone. This one TLI meeting, you are free to unmute from the start till the end, because I'm going to set the purpose of today's meeting. The purpose of doing today's meeting is to collaborate ideas amidst all the clubs so that every club can experience a quality meeting. They can have memorable meetings. And every time someone asks, how good is your club? They will have something to share. Can we all do that? Feel free to unmute whenever you want to, if you want to share an idea. And uh, let's make this forum today the noisiest TLI session that's ever held. Yes, agree? Fantastic. Now, how many of you feel? Sometimes, Viji, I feel my club meetings are a bit monotonous. Show of hands using, or you can just unmute and say, okay, okay, I already see so many hands. Fantastic, okay. The usual regular meeting setup is a prepared speech, the table topics, and the evaluation, isn't it? Can you go beyond what is required? Can we do just a bit more to give every member in our club an amazing member experience? That is exactly the purpose of today's meeting. So I've had the opportunity to talk to many clubs in our district to collate ideas as to what is that one thing that club is doing differently. So if you are here today, you are the representative of your club. Feel free to share the idea, unique practices that you are doing in your club. So without any further ado, let's get started. I truly believe every Toastmasters meeting, the role players play a vital role. They make or break any Toastmasters meeting. When the role players come prepared for a meeting, that is when the meeting experience elevates from a normal, ordinary meeting to an extraordinary, memorable meeting. To start today's meeting, I have a video to be played. Now, this is a long video. And here is an example of how every role player can make a difference in a meeting. How much of homework should a role player do to bring out excitement in every meeting? So to spice up your meetings, please ask the role players to do some homework. Here is distinguished Toastmaster Sundar Raman, 
doing the role of the toastmaster of the day in medley toastmasters club and he has dressed up as a magician and throughout the entire segment of his toastmaster of the day he did magic one after the other while introducing the segments while introducing the speakers and this is the first magic of the day public speaking skills and the leadership skills most of the time their life will be like this their life will be like this almost like a blank page but the moment you join those masters which is a very strong organization your life will be like this a lot of pictures <laughs> you want a picture but the moment you join medley toast master any guess there you go so that is how dkm sundar raman did magic one after the other while introducing segments while introducing speakers think for a moment what kind of preparation homework has gone beyond the call of duty and that's what makes one meeting a memorable one you ask any medlian they'll be able to clearly remember this meeting where sundar raman played the role of the toastmaster of the day as a magician my favorite one now let's take a look at around the district how many clubs have done different meetings so when i asked them this is what they said in one of the clubs they had a shark tank meeting how many of you have seen the program shark tank quickly unmute and tell me yes no yes yes okay Shark Tank is a program where you pitch in an idea to the sharks. They are predominantly the investors, so when they like your idea, they will invest money in your idea, and you can build the business from there on. So in this meeting, every Toastmaster member had to pitch in an idea, uh, or rather, do a product sale uh, to invite the investors to believe in them and to invest. A very novel idea, Shark Tank meeting. Okay, keep it in mind. This is my favorite personal one. This happened almost 10 11 years ago. I went to this club meeting for a themed meeting called Movie Night. So they had this red carpet invite. There were popcorns, someone was selling tickets, they had coffees, fresh coffees. And then when we entered the room, it was dim light. The seats were beautifully arranged like a theater. We were made to sit and when we sat, the projector came on. This is exactly a picture from the meeting so when the countdown finished the first thing that came up on the projector was nanda mukesh na gupka tinne that tobacco use that the statutory warning that we get you no know, in every theater that's the first video that we see right and soon after that video how superstar will be introduced you no know, every time s u p e r the similar way the president before the president went on stage that was the introductory uh, video that was played for the president a memorable meeting called movie movie themed meeting this is a park meeting another exciting outdoor meeting that was uh, that was done amidst a uh, beautiful scenery serene environment ah how many of you have done halloween themed meetings in your clubs yes no i have we have okay now this club has taken one step above they also did a halloween meeting but they did the halloween meeting in the war cemetery they did the halloween meeting in the war cemetery they took it one notch above yeah not just a halloween meeting halloween meeting in a war cemetery there was a treasure hunt meeting obviously an exciting fun filled meeting where cues were given to all the toastmasters to treasure hunt the members of this club were taken in a bus to ecr and in on a boat to the middle of the sea where they all put on their life jackets and they all jumped into the sea they formed a big circle and they did a mid sea meeting the meeting happened in mid sea there was also something very special about this meeting this a uh, famous co stand up comedian alexander alexander did a session on how to speak humorously on that day a mid sea meeting where all the members 
just jumped into mid sea with their life jackets to do the meeting. Another exciting meeting that happened in the park. Another garden meeting. This meeting happened in Bellur Fort. This meeting happened in Bellur Fort. And this meeting happened in another beach in the East Coast Road. So all these clubs have tried, they have taken one step forward in giving the member an enriching experience, a memorable experience. Vijay, can we do this every day? No. But can this be done once a year? Definitely yes. So let's look at what can be done and how better it can be done in today's meeting. Everyone will send an agenda, isn't it? If your club is sending an agenda to all the members before the club meeting, give a pat on the back of your VPE. Again, a word of caution. Sending the agenda before the meeting to the members is a responsibility. Let's be very careful here. Sending the agenda before the meeting to the members and the guest is a responsibility. But sending agenda at least one day prior to the meeting is a discipline. Today's meeting here is to take this learning back to your clubs. Please help the VPE to plan your meetings at least one day prior to the meeting so that the VPE will be able to send out the meeting agenda. Bring in a discipline in the club. Many clubs are following this discipline and I'm highly, highly satisfied with what's been done so far. If your club is not doing this, please start doing this from this year forward. Many clubs just start the meeting. There'll be a lot of role player changes, but nothing will be notified during the meeting. Have you seen that? Yeah. It is very important to notify the changes in the agenda, to notify the changes in the role player in the agenda before the start of the meeting. Now, who can do this? Some clubs, the presidents do this. Most of the clubs, the Toastmaster of the day does this. So either way, it has to be done. That's the point here. So notify changes in the agenda before the start of the meeting. So why this emphasis on the agenda is because sending agenda prior or creating a calendar, one month calendar prior will help your members to plan their meeting accordingly, to plan their personal and professional goals accordingly and then attend the meeting so that they don't miss out on all these exciting meetings. Quiz question, what are the three segments of a Toastmasters meeting? Quickly. Prepared speaker. Prepared speech. Table topics and evaluation. Table topics and evaluation. Yes, fantastic. So there is prepared speech, table topics, and evaluation. So doing a themed meeting, doing an outdoor meeting can happen only once or twice in a year. But what usually happens in a meeting is this. We will have three segments in a meeting, right? We cannot avoid this. This is mandatory. And most of the times, this is the one that will reflect in your DCP. Only when your club members are giving speeches, they will be able to uh, see the results in the DCP points, right? So prepared speeches you cannot avoid, table topics you cannot avoid, evaluation also you cannot avoid. How can we bring changes to these regular meeting segments? Now let's spice up the prepared speeches segment. We are now doing icebreaker marathons everywhere where all the first timers will join together and do icebreaker marathon. So all the speeches will be icebreaker speeches. There are people in your club who might have done the icebreaker speech earlier also. So don't worry, you can gather four to five people and do an icebreaker marathon in case you don't have enough prepared speeches. There are a lot of special occasion speeches in, to in the Toastmasters Pathways program like roast, toast, acceptance, eulogy. Two roast speeches, toast speeches. So the theme itself can be roast, where uh, four people can be prepared speeches. They can do roast speeches. Four people can do toast speeches. The time limit for these speeches are very less. So you will be able to accommodate more members in doing these kind of special occasion speeches. Roast, toast, acceptance, eulogy. A very nice speech that I loved. I've only witnessed twice, thrice, these kind of speeches. It's called demonstration speeches how to now any member can sign up to do a demonstration speech now this demonstration speech is to demonstrate to the club on doing a particular activity 
one of my club member earlier did a demonstration speech on how to prepare a thick filter coffee she literally came with the filter coffee powder and some milk and she prepared filter coffee right there and she served it to the members so it could be as simple as how to prepare a filter coffee or a, or a video that you have already done on how to change a tire you you could record it outdoors and you can play it in the club so there are so many demonstration videos that you can do how to change a bulb or any small activity that would help your members demonstration speeches has anyone seen any demonstration speeches being done in any other club or your club no no okay yes i have yes you have fantastic so what was the demonstration speech uh making chapati once and uh, folding uh, clothes after work oh fantastic much needed much needed folding clothes is much needed honestly <laughs> fantastic demonstration speeches how to it could be any simple day to day task okay how to these kind of demonstration speeches so encourage your members to do these kind of speeches that will bring in a variety to the regular speech programs this is the usual case isn't it when you ask the vp how is the club doing club and all is doing good only vg there is no speaker no one is volunteering that's the usual case many vps complain if you don't have a speaker do not worry these are what other clubs are doing they are doing member experience series if i am a toastmaster and i have an experience to share hey last may was the first time i attended the district conference it was an amazing experience and this is what i did during the conference a member experience series i come i share my experience so i was a toastmaster for the last 5 years and this is exactly what i did in my corporate and i got a recognition for that member experience series in toastmasters and beyond so ask your members to speak about their experience of being a toastmaster and how it has benefited them personally professionally so that is the first task the toastmasters member series conference experience series so many people for the first time uh, discover was the first conference for many uh, toastmasters and many of them shared their experiences in the facebook in the instagram how about sharing those those kind of experiences in your club how much did you pay for the conference who were the speakers in the conference did your contestant from your division win what was the winning speech how did you like it the overall conference experience it could be a division conference it could be a dis district conference it could even be an area contest right so you can talk about any conference experience that you have encountered and finally the leadership experience series if you have been an ex com officer area director division director any role i've been in the sub committee vg i've been the assistant to the pr any role that you have done you can share your experience in in 5 to 7 minutes so these are some of the things that other clubs are doing in case there is one speaker drop out you cannot do this on a regular basis this is not an alternative to prepared speeches this is only a filler let's be mindful about it yes ma'am sorry did someone ask a question any other experience series that yes. you want to share here sorry i have a question can i yes please yes please okay so you mentioned about spicing up the prepared speeches segment by uh, you know giving speeches on some special occasions mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. roast toast and acceptance so mm -hmm. can you just give some example as to what is it exactly ah definitely so a roast speech is uh, your bullying someone okay in a nice manner in, in not any derogatory uh, uh, sentences in a very nice uh, uh, pulling uh, we usually call, call it colloquially pulling the leg right so roast speech is when you roast a member in your club it could be anyone not just a member in a club it could be anyone a roast speech you are roasting the member for a very short time about 3 to 4 minutes only a toast speech is exactly the opposite you are raising a toast which means you are speaking in praise of that particular person now this person could be a member in your club it could be any celebrity okay your mentor a, a public figure it could be anyone right even for a roast it could be anyone so a toast is speaking in praise of the person acceptance speech is you receive an award 
and you accept an award right and then you speak about that for example if the club has given me a um, star of the quarter award okay it can also be hypothetical you know what is hypothetical right imaginary so i have not received star of the uh, month award but i am just uh, hypothetically creating a situation so i received the star of the quarter award for this award i would like to thank the excom the members like that it's called an acceptance speech accepting the award most of the times the acceptance speeches are done by the club presidents when the change over happens when the excom moves out and the incoming excom takes charge the incoming president does an acceptance speech i'm accepting the role of a president did i answer you yes of course thank you so much and also following up on this is the acceptance speech uh, necessarily needs to be from toastmasters also or is it no, from no, our no, like no, experience no 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 not at all very good question one of my friends in meraki she did an acceptance speech that she had received the pulitzer award right like she is the author and she received the best so it could be anything it could be anything you could receive the arjuna award any any award. yeah yeah hypothetically hypothetically fantastic So moving on. So you do. I have experience. another question. Yes, please. Okay. So these speeches can happen during the prepared speech slots when we have a dropout, or if we think the meetings are dry during then, not when That, the Toastmasters are fighting for prepared speech slots. Very good question. It, the, I will leave the choice to the VPE or the XCOM per se. Um, mostly these are all fillers. so you can use this when you when actually three people signed up for the speaker role and only one of them turned out so you have extra about 14 minutes right 7 minutes for a speech so 14 minutes you have extra time those are the times that you can probably fill in using these kind of speeches or you can there is no speaker at all also you can use this as a fill this is only a fill so let's be mindful all the speeches that will have credits are only the speeches from pathways these speeches will not have credits if the if the objective of the speech and what you are doing through this matches then it will get the credit thank you i'm sad that my club will never have one of these fun sessions because people are fighting for <laughs> fantastic fantastic yeah okay let's move on experience series quickly uh, some answers in the room have you done any experience series in your club have you witnessed any experience series member coming and sharing Uh, can i answer this question yes yes please uh, hi everyone i am ashwadeepa i am from sit toastmasters club 3 and um, recently we have uh, launched a new session called book review session which is for 5 minutes to 7 minutes so in each and every session uh, any one from our toastmasters will voluntarily come and uh, give a review about a book they'll say what and the experiences what is that experience they got and what they learning and will they recommend this book to others what kind of genre is this what's the other books like these so these kind of things they'll wow. be sharing fantastic fantastic That's a book review book review one of my clubs also yes. does book review we always do a management book review we only review management books that's okay. been the practice fantastic okay book reviews yes okay we are going to see that it's it's also there as well Yes, yes. This college club works. They are open to many genres. Ah, fantastic! So, yes, yes, makes more fantasy, sense. Makes more yes, sense. From fantasy yeah. to fiction, fantastic. Every books. A book is a book, right? So fantastic. Okay, so let, uh, having finished with prepared speeches, let's move on to TT segments. Regularly, we are doing the TT segments, right? How differently can we do a TT segment? selecting the tt speakers based on a small game or activity i absolutely love the way this was done in one of the clubs they had a meeting called uh, 90s kids 80s kids uh, no 90s and 2k kids uh, so they invited the about four or five people on stage and they do a small game a very small game and based on the game the speaker was selected for the tt so this was only the teachers uh, tt speech speaker selection okay the topics were decided by the tt master obviously we were story this many clubs are doing some of them are not aware where one person starts a story and leaves it there and the other, the next tt speaker will continue the story 
take it to their imagination and spin the story as they want right we were story skip the word it was very innovative uh, and i found it really tough because um, the tt topic will be go green but you cannot use the word go green which is the essential uh, word that you wanted to use during that tt speech so it was quite a challenge the word not to be used so vomit a word was the uh, tt segment that was done based on the topic the essential word was asked to be skipped so it was quite a challenge i love that uh, tt segment many clubs do this from time to time and i have seen this has given very good results during the tt contest which is tt evaluation evaluating table topic speakers so a speaker comes and does a tt and there is a specific a dedicated evaluator to evaluate all the tt speakers so this evaluator gives one commendation and one recommendation to every tt speaker on how well they fared in giving this tt Uh, did they speak on the topic for the topic? Did they make justice? Did they speak on time and all of it? Right. So plan a TT evaluation. Let's collaborate. So how your club is spicing up the TT segments? Any anything else your club is doing differently? Quickly, some answers. Yeah, property based uh, TT speeches. Very good. Yes, property based uh, TT speeches. So you give a. prop and then they uh, speak on the prop right most of the times the props are hidden in a big box you just have to you know pick it on a random basis fantastic okay uh vijay i have a yes a yes go ahead aarti so uh, yes ha ah. so uh, we had a picture based uh, tt so flash a picture and uh, the speaker speaks on it and another interesting thing that we had was uh, a uh, start stop uh, game where there is a topic for and against in the same 2 minutes Fantastic. the tt master takes control of that yes yes this is also being done isn't it so she yeah. says flash a picture talk about that picture for 2 minutes and there is something called start stop so there will be two people one person will uh, you know at the at the sound of start they will start speaking for stop la they will speak against the topic and so on right fantastic fantastic yes start stop pictures so um i would also like to share um, mm. from xavier chennai to usma sir yes yes so your uh, so over here uh, we have done in tt topic is that uh, a puzzle is being shared so oh. what happens is uh, we have a puzzle and oh. uh, you move each block and in each block there is a topic given mm. it is related to that particular uh, puzzle which is there and wow. once all the blocks are unfolded the puzzle is also out fantastic so fantastic that was one thing yeah. looks like the tt master has done all the homework isn't it so that <laughs> is why i said in the start of the video like how dtm sundaraman did when a role player does that effort you know goes that little extra mile does the homework the meeting segments takes a different turn altogether and that's on a very positive side yeah i have seen uh, tt segments where uh, i was uh, it was all hypothetical so imagine you are the news reporter they say and they say hey announce the result of the next world champion and then the beautifully uh, the past district director did uh, yes mm, 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 as though there is a relay delay and then he said oh we are right now standing at the world convention where toastmasters international annual convention is happening uh in few few minutes we will know who is the next world champion the results are being announced and so on so he created all the hype when he did that tt one memorable tt uh, for me uh, so they the contest uh, sorry not the contestant the members were asked to imagine themselves as a reporter a tv reporter and uh, report a particular incident so that was also done in a tt segment moving forward so i have one question mm -hmm. yes yes please please go ahead so when you when you talked about you know the tt evaluation mm -hmm. so how does it happen so generally we also have the general evaluator in the club who gives mm -hmm. some uh, evaluation of the whole program so he mm -hmm. would also he or she would bring out the essence of even the tt elements if, uh. how the speaker spoke or how it is so apart from this you are saying that there is another evaluation which yes. needs to be done And yes okay. yes so will they be different evaluators or one evaluator a separate evaluator who will evaluate all the speakers 
Yes, I do. Yes. So generally, the general evaluator gives an overall generalized comment on the TT segment. So he'll only say uh, today's TT, TT segment was fun and exciting. All the topics were relatable. The members were able to talk on topics. Well done, TT master. Well done, all the TT speakers. And that's all, right? So this is called a TT evaluator. One evaluator for all the TT speakers, right? So this evaluator comes during the evaluation segment. When you have a prepared speeches evaluation, once that is over, the TT evaluator will come and he will evaluate every TT speech. He will say, hey, speaker number one, Vijay Lakshmi, your topic was this. And this is how you handle the topic. This is my commendation. This is my recommendation to you. Speaker number two, Aarti, this is your topic and this is what it is. So there is one evaluator who evaluates every single TT speaker. Did I okay, got you? it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hi, Vijay. Hello, yes. Hello. Yes, Hi, Vijay. This is Avinash. Hi, Amish. Uh, Vijay, you told about the third point, right? Skip the word. Can you once again explain uh, because I didn't get it fully. Uh, I uh, to explain it in simple terms, I forgot that word. For example, um, love of your life is the topic, let's say. Okay, you have to speak on the topic without using the word love. So they are asking oh. you to skip the most essential word in that topic. Quite a challenging one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, yeah. let's move forward. We saw prepared speeches, we saw TT, the third segment is the evaluation segment. Now, how can we top up evaluation segment? My personal favorite, I've done a lot of research. I have done more experiments in this segment. So here it goes. Usually, there is one prepared speaker, one evaluator, isn't it? Now, let's spice up the evaluation segments by having a panel evaluation. There is one speaker, but there will be three evaluators for that one speaker. Each evaluator can speak on a specific parameter. You can set the parameter as an evaluator or the VPE can set a parameter. Like voice modulation, one person will speak. One person will only concentrate on the body language. The other person will only concentrate on the speech objective. So each of them will be given only one, one minute to exclusively talk about this one particular parameter. A panel evaluation. One speaker three or four evaluators, yeah, panel evaluation. A ballot evaluation. This has come very handy when I was appearing for the evaluation contest. So when the TT evaluation happens, uh, sorry, uh, when the speaker evaluation is done, evaluate the evaluators using a ballot evaluation. So the, in, in contest, there is something called evaluation ballot sheet. Evaluation ballot sheet. Use that ballot to evaluate the evaluators. Yes. So this is quantitative. This is going to be in numbers. Out of 100, how many points did the evaluator get? 360 degree evaluation, my favorite one. So when the speaker is speaking, every member in the room will take notes. Everyone will make at least one commendation or one recommendation to the speaker. And then the GE or the Toastmaster of the day or, uh, will work around the room to get all the feedback. One positive, one area of improvement. One positive, one area of improvement. So every member in the audience will get to contribute and get to play the role of an evaluator. This is how budding evaluators are molded to participate in the evaluation contest. A 360 degree evaluation. So for one speech, everyone in the room will give an evaluation. A 360 degree evaluation. My favorite master evaluator. Master evaluator is evaluating the evaluators. So once there are two speeches, two evaluators will come and evaluate the two speeches. Now the master evaluator will come and evaluate the evaluators and not the speech, uh, speakers. Okay, Evaluates the evaluators. Here also the evaluation ballot can be used. Any questions? Yeah, yes, yeah. Vijay. Uh, hi, Vijay. This is Adil Shroff from Chennai Phoenix Toastmasters. Hi. I'd like to ask, um, uh, what are the different styles we can use while evaluating the speakers? Like, uh, there are uh, some styles I have heard of, uh, like um, sandwich style. Mm -hmm. There will be one commendation followed by one recommendation yes, and, so yes. on, and so on. And also mm -hmm. the... Um, there metaphor, are so many techniques, honestly. Yes, metaphors are there, theme are there, acronym are there. 
So if you're intending to contest in the evaluation contest, I will always try and test all this in my club. So one time when I'm at the evaluator, I'll use a sandwich technique. The next time I will try and use an acronym technique. The next time I will try and use some other technique. I will name the technique. It's my technique, right? So it is always good to use these kind of uh, techniques when you get an opportunity to play the role of an evaluator. There is no set rule as to if this is the speech, this is the evaluation technique. Icebreaker, use sandwich technique. There is no set parameter like that. For an icebreaker speech also, you can use a theme or a metaphor, right? Did I answer yeah. you? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, thank you. Quickly, any other questions? Hi, Vidhi. Hi. One question here, Vidhi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Arun Mori here, Vidhi, from Chennai hey. Wordsmith. Yes. Hi. Wonderful session. Thank you so much. I have two questions, Vidhi. One is on this evaluation. Mm. For a club wherein there are a lot of members, and mm. there is a shortage of speech slots. How do I incorporate a ballot evaluation or a panel evaluation, which is really, really wonderful for the members uh, from a growth perspective? One Very good question. Mm. Uh, is it okay if I just answer this first and then go to the next question? Yes. yes Very yes. good question. When I don't have a speaker, how can I use these kind of panel evaluation ballot? Very good question, Arunmuri. This is the time when you have to use the video. All the world championship videos, district speech videos are available in YouTube. So use those videos, play the video, any one video of any world champion or any district uh, speech video, play it. Let everyone observe and take notes. That is the speech that you, you and your club will be evaluating for the day. No, no, Vijay, my question was, <clears throat> when we don't have time for so many evaluations ah. in a club, Oh. How do I incorporate panel evaluation, which will definitely benefit the members? Ah, all these uh, segments, no, you have to arrange the agenda in such a way that you find time. So if I'm planning to do pa panel evaluation, that is the time I will skip tag and I will keep the tag uh, reports offline. Or offline. instead of okay. having 10 TT speakers, I'll have only five TT speakers. Instead of planning for three speakers that day, I'll have only one speaker. Right. So the agenda time that we are using in the meeting is the same. So we only have to make a little adjustment here and there to accommodate these kind of sessions during a, this. We are not going to do every day. No, Anubhai. so we can definitely tweak the agenda a bit to include these kind of sessions. Sundar, yeah, perfect. I perfect. And yes, Sundar, sir, go ahead. Yeah, Regarding the 360 degree evaluation, I, I don't think every club or every meeting, uh, it is possible to accommodate that. Yes. But uh, speaker can request all the members to give feedback in pathways so pathways platform allows every member to give feedback for themselves so apart from the designated evaluator every member can give the feedback and i think many of our members are not aware of this feature thank you so much for bringing that point uh, dtm sundaraman yes pathways allows every member in the club to give out their feedback using the feedback portal so if you have a feedback for any speech you can use that uh, arunmani did you have another question Yes, uh, thank you, uh, <clears throat> Vijay. Thank you, DTM Sundaram, sir. One more question I had was regarding the first. I'm sorry, 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 that could be used even on a regular team, or is it that it has to be used only when um, we don't have a member engagement? Or I think it could also be used as part of a regular team. Mm. Yes, very I good question. Roasting in a good way, roasting in a good way, I think we have to develop out of practice. Mocking at yes, someone Marie, could yes. come out easily because we've been used to it, but <laughs> roasting someone in a good way comes yeah. by practice so that's my very question true. very good question yes it can be done in pathways there is an elective there is an elective to do a roast toast or an acceptance or a eulogy speech there is a there is an elective right so um so you can take advantage of that do the speech and take credit in your pathways program one two yes like you said in one of my milestone meetings in Meraki, roasting was a was the theme and uh, we had about five or six roasting speech contest that day. So yes, it can be done as a theme separately for a meeting. 
uh, it can also be done by one speaker to take credit in the pathways program. So Thank I have you, another question. For tuitions. Sorry. <laughs> I'll come to you since one. I said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Let's quickly okay, move great. forward. We'll take more questions. So, I'm so sorry. Mind. Just one, one last question, if you yes, don't yes. mind. So yes. the, the point is that sometimes speakers, they use some local language in their speech. And it mm -hmm. could be that the evaluators may not be aware of mm -hmm. uh, what the speaker has spoken. And mm -hmm. it may be different for them to understand and to respond to what it is. So mm -hmm. we'll not understand the emotions or anything at that point of time. So how would you evaluate such speeches? I will be very genuine and I say if someone talks something in Hindi, I have no clue what they are speaking. Even if, if it is a small word, any re anything related to Bollywood cinema, I'll not be able to understand it. So I'll be very genuine in saying that. I'll say that one particular reference that you did to Bollywood, personally me, I had no clue about what it was, but I saw everyone else was enjoying. So I'm sure you made a very good reference. So I'm only going to be very genuine there and tell the speaker. As an evaluator, I had no clue about what you're talking. So for a better audience connect, it is always good to speak in parlance with um, what is understood in a majority of the audience. So I'll probably encourage the speaker to avoid something like that. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Quickly, quickly, let's go. Let's spice up education. Lot of education sessions. If you look at Tamil Nadu Toastmasters group, everyone is posting some education session. In that one, one lady with a peach color, pink color border sari is always standing like this and smiling. Yeah, yours painfully. Yeah. So many education sessions are being planned in Toastmasters. Predominantly, these are some of the education sessions that are being planned across the clubs in our district, which is evaluation how to do evaluations in club, how to prepare for an evaluation contest, table topics, again, how to handle table topics in the club, how to prepare well for a table topics contest, humorous speech, info, uh, international speech contest, the ISC, better speaker series, successful club series, and leadership series are all series given by Toastmasters International. It has so many modules, and, what, and your education speaker is uh, free to choose one of the modules and speak. Better speaker series is how to speak confidently, something like that, right? So these are some of the usual education sessions planned. I also saw some of the clubs in the district who are going beyond the call of duty. There is a specific education program that was done on vocal variety, on vocal variety only, on speech organization only, on body language only, on pathways, the basics, the intermediate and advanced. Parliamentary procedures, no one is doing parliamentary procedures session. Or I would rather say, not most of us are doing parliamentary. That's the, I, I cannot use never. Uh, so most of us are not doing the parliamentary procedures, which is very, very essential. So these are some of the education programs that I saw that are being done across the district in few clubs. So if you can take a cue from here, go back to your club and plan an education session, which will benefit your members which will address the issue in your club rather than simply planning an education session for the sake of planning an education session. Now, in a regular agenda, we have uh, three segments, as we all know, the prepared speeches, table topics, and the evaluation. Now, what are the few other quick segments we can have in the agenda? A quick look, round robin. This is usually done at the start of the meeting in both online and offline setup. In an online setup, this is done to check the audio video. So there is one person who is called the round robin master. He will ask one question and everyone in the room will start answering to the question one after the other. Some clubs do it like Antakshari. The last word I finish, that will be the first word my next person should start. Round robin. Each member will speak only for 10 to 15 seconds. Maximum 20 seconds, that's all. Right. So everyone in the room will get a speaking opportunity. This also serves well to check the audio video in an online setup. This can also be done in an offline setup as well. So this is more like an uh, interactive, a uh, good start kind of a, a start to the meeting. Evaluation of world champion of public speaking. WCPS is world champion of public speaking. Like I told Arunmuri earlier, you can play any world championship video. You can decode the video, see how well this champion has emerged. What are the different components in that world championship speech? What did you learn from this speech and so on? 
So this is a very good exercise. It comes very handy when you're preparing for the ISC contest, right? The evaluation of the world champion of public speaking. This is usually a video that is played and all the members are asked to evaluate or give their feedback on the video. Listening round, at the end of every meeting, most of the clubs are doing this. This is an absolute fun-filled round. So based on what the speakers spoke, they will be asking questions at the end of the meeting just to check how active listening played its part during the meeting. Listening round. Book review. We already had one of our members share the experience. Book review. Many clubs are now starting to do book reviews, which is a warm welcome. Did I miss anything? Okay, debates. We have a lot of debates happening. I saw this uh, leadership is, uh, leaders are born, made a very, very nice topic that we can speak for uh, years and years. Yeah, a lot of debates are coming up. I saw the posters in Tamil Nadu group. Panel evaluation, we already spoke about this in detail. Impromptu role player selection. So everyone comes to the meeting. There is a bowl with all the role, play, uh, role players written in a sheet. So the roles will be picked by you at random. So if I pick a shit and open, it says evaluator, I am the evaluator for the day. If I pick a shit, it says TMOD, I am the TMOD for the day. So everyone who is coming for that meeting needs to be prepared to play any role in the meeting. We did this once and let me tell you, it was an absolute thriller. We all enjoyed doing this impromptu role player selection. Experience series, we already saw much of it. And finally, Toastmasters quiz. Toastmasters quiz is any senior member or any member for that matter can uh, ask questions related to Toastmasters. So what is the latest to Toastmasters fee? Who was the last world champion? Any simple basic question on Toastmasters. Yeah, about the meeting segments. Who is the Toastmaster of the day? What does the grammarian do? Who introduces the word of the day and so on? So this is something called the topsy turvy. I'm seeing some clubs are doing this, where they say the entire meet, meeting is upside down. They will start from evaluation, then go to TT, then go to prepared speech. Honestly, I have not been in a topsy turvy meeting in all of my 14 years. I really love to be a part of one of the topsy turvy meetings. Uh, if you know that any club has done the topsy turvy meeting, I would really love for you to gather the experience from one of the club members. So these are some of the items that you can add in your agenda once in a while, once in a while to spice up your meetings. Any other, sorry, any other um, agenda items that your club is doing differently? Quickly, some answers before we wrap. Uh, Jokathon. Joker, yes. A joke master, humor master, Jokathon. Fantastic. Okay. The timer giving report for the entire meeting, not only for speeches. So uh -huh. the time taken by the president, Sergeant at arms, TMOD, everyone, comprehensive okay. report by the timer. Oh, fantastic. Timer gives A to Z report. Start right from the start. Okay. And um, reminiscence, the senior what? Toastmaster, veteran Toastmaster will share the uh, the experience, the journey. Ah, that's what we saw in experience series. Yes. Yeah, any yeah, any yeah. leadership uh, series or any, any experience series? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. And story, story safari. Story safari. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, you have a lot of ideas. You should do the session. Okay, story safari. What do you do? Uh, what do you do in story, just, story safari? We'll give some uh, properties or uh, things to the audience. Uh -huh. Then on each member, um, uh, say for example, five members. Uh, so it has to go by sequence. So each member will ha will carry some pro pro proper props. Based on that, they have to build a story and uh, carry forward. Fantastic. The speaker fantastic. has to. Story safari. Fantastic. Safari. So there are a lot of options. I only want all of you to think out of the box on how to spice up your meeting agenda. So these are not mandates. These are, In some clubs, these are mandates. Every meeting starts with a round robin in a few clubs, right? So see how you can spice up your meeting agenda by adding one or two elements here and there in one of the meetings to bring in that energy back to the club meeting. There are so many things. that we are having a theme meeting. meeting. Yes. What this was week the we theme? are having a themed meeting in what Chennai Wordsmiths. What is the theme? Vanga Paragalam. Vanga Paragalam. Arunmari, I have something for yes, you in this indeed. meeting. Just wait for one more slide. Okay. Okay. So there are a lot of themed outdoor meetings planned in a club. Honestly, uh, right from college, school, we always love the PT periods. No, In college, we always love the excursions. 
uh, uh, the uh, the outings, the the planned. Uh, I don't know what you call it. What what is it called in college? What is it called? It was called uh, excursion only. Ivy, I don't know Ivy, industry it. visit, industry visit, Ivy. Ah, uh, industry visit. Okay, okay, like that. So we always look forward to going out of the usual meeting venue. You know, those are the meetings the members tend to remember. When I asked. Uh, across the district hey what is the meeting one meeting that you remember these are the meetings people came up with all the themed and outdoor meetings so usually in a club a mentor day is planned women's day independence day idioms and phrases pongal diwali new year everything is done usually usually right like i told you at the start one club did a mid sea meeting where the meeting happened in the middle of the sea there was a metro meeting where uh, members travel from one destination to another using the metro train the meeting happened in the metro train park meeting we saw a lot of pictures of people meeting in the park beach meeting again we saw a lot of pictures of people meeting in the beach halloween not just halloween it's a halloween at the war cemetery they should really have some guts to do that a madras day meeting was done i really love the theme it was quite unusual i love the theme madras day shopping team it was an online meeting i think it was dxc it was an online meeting and everyone in the meeting had a shopping bag different different shops shopping pothis chennai silks everyone was holding a shopping bag in that shopping themed meeting it all takes just a little effort to think out of the box to bring in that member experience so if you've been doing the regular theme meetings it's time you step up the game and do a different theme or outdoor meeting let's be very mindful here the safety of your members it is at the top priority so when you're doing a mid sea meeting or doing meeting a meet, uh, doing a meeting in the metro park beach whatever make sure you got the prior permission to do the meeting there and then you conduct the meeting yeah. okay so we spoke a lot it's time for some pictures arun mori here you go chalai words mein yes is doing a meeting <laughs> yes called bang paragala <laughs> you're going to see few meeting uh, posters that were very inviting so i'm just going to share at random vanga paragalam was the theme downtown speakers did this press conference session it was very well appreciated so uh, the speakers will be there and it will be like a press room session where they'll be asked questions and they have to answer it from the press point perspective this is the one that i told you a lot of debates are happening but this was my favorite is leadership and art or science okay astronaut look at that picture look at that picture no astronaut this is exactly the kind of meeting i want to go on the 31st of december or on the 1st of january to know how my <laughs> yeah astro signs are going to help me through the year right the astronaut retro party i'm only hoping people came decked up for this meeting in the retro wear the retro party look at this tsi has done a themed meeting on cricket movie review session again uh, they did a beautiful movie review session in uh, downtown so for all these uh, retro cricket themed and all that uh, pongal themed people come dressed up in ethnic wear retro people come dressed up in retro wear cricket theme white and white right so there was back to school theme everyone came in white blue dupatta and all that so when you give the color codes and all that people will take that extra effort to to come decked up right so give your members that kind of an experience who is this guy i really want to meet him sai chandar vadi velu for life was the theme in chennai speakers forum i am very sure this would have been one hell of a meeting fun filled oh i love this meeting a joint meeting by wordsmiths and emerging usually we celebrate women's day uh, and all that this father brother husband son was uh, really a uh, catchy to the eyes again dynamic leaders forum jingle 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 all the way jingle and mingle a hybrid meeting shipwreck you all know what is shipwreck so the shipwreck meeting this is the meeting that i told you on the spot where in a spin of a wheel you will decide who is doing what role ah this was the meeting that i told you it's an online meeting but in an online meeting also you can bring all the flavors you can give that member experience is what dxc told us look at the shopping bags they are all holding rd madam sales fantastic no ah this meeting is called the good night meeting where all the members online were asked to switch off the lights around and it's only the light from the computer that is visible for the face look at all the pictures in that 
It's called a good night meeting. Satya told me, Satya told me while he was in the meeting, his father came to the room and he was like, hey, what are you doing attending the meeting without the light? And he switched on the light and went with us. Right? This is called the midnight, uh, good night meeting, sorry. Good night meeting, where uh, the meeting happened with the lights switched off in an online setup. This is what I want you all to think as the takeout from this meeting. People will definitely forget what you said, what you did. They will never ever forget the way you made them feel. I have continued to be a Toastmaster for 14 years now, and this was possible because someone somewhere in the XCOM or in the club has taken that one step forward to give every member a memorable experience. And if you are representing your club here today in this meeting, that is exactly what I want you to do. To take at least one idea from here, not do the exact same idea, you can tweak it a bit or do something totally different, but give every member the experience to do, enjoy every club meeting, every theme meeting, every prepared speech. And that's the objective of today's session. With that, we have come to the end of the session. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, and I would really request all of you to please come. Thank you, Abdul. It's 8.56. We have four minutes left, I guess. Okay. Thank you all so much. Do we have any questions? You can, now is the time to network. Everyone can unmute. Yes. Hi, Uji. Uh... Yes, Kamesh, go ahead. Thanks for the excellent presentation, Uji. Uh, I was late by nine minutes, but I didn't miss much of the spice. But really, we will make most of the things be taken as the home of this. Thank you. Thank you. In the registration form, I saw most of your expectation from the session. Most of you have written, I want to do one thing different in the club. I want to learn how to spice up the agenda, do something different in the agenda. I hope you all had at least one or two key takeaways from today's session. Usually, we do a lot of homework behind every TLI session, right? So today we had how many participants, Abdul? Some 120 had registered, but I don't know how many of them turned out for the meeting. Total, we had 150 registrations. We had uh, around 70. Went to wow, meet. fantastic, fantastic. May I request all the 70 of you to please give a minute to respond to the feedback form that we sent by Abdul. It will really help me and help the TLI to plan these kind of sessions if you need in future. Can you all do that? Can you all please spare a minute or two to please fill the feedback form? In attendance, we have 150 people. But... In the feedback, I have only five, right? So please feel free to go ahead and give your feedback. With that, you have been an amazing audience today and I had one great time to be the facilitator for today's session. I hope you all enjoyed the session and had a great takeaway. Thank you for the opportunity. Back to the TLI chair, Abdul Hadi. A big round of Viji, it was a wonderful session, Viji. Thank you so much. It Thank came you, at the right. right moment before a very important meeting. It was wonderful for TI to organize uh, this at our district. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Vijay, Absolutely. For the, thank you so for much, Vijay. Be, for the beginner like me, it was an eye-opening session. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for all your feedback. Uh, please post that in the feedback link, which I have provided in the chat. Please take a few minutes to provide your feedback. And uh, a big round of applause to our trainer for today's session, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Vijay Lakshmi, for sharing all her experience and also interacting with many other clubs to get us the pictures, ideas, and all uh, that she has done for us today. Uh, big thank you and great uh, session with, which we had today. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I'll just stop the recording and. Uh,